All right, everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome back to Three and Out with the Dolphins. As y'all see, my logo, perfection. That's what the Dolphins was trying to take care of in the draft in April. Yes, they drafted Thursday, Friday, Saturday was April 27th through April 29th. And the Dolphins only had four picks. So did the four picks we get, how did we do? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and give it about a B minus, C plus. It's in that range. Um, Miami Dolphins is doing their thing. They only have four picks. So let's go over those draft picks and how they're going to make a big impact in 2023 and 2024. Alrighty, with the fifth overall pick in the second round, Miami Dolphins picked cornerback Cam Smith from South Carolina. After watching his footage, one thing that caught my attention is his aggressiveness and how he attacked the ball in coverage and as well as run support. Now, one thing what caught my attention the most is that he is a low tackler. He likes to go for the, um, the knee area of the running backs as well as wide receivers. Now, he was flagged 10 times for that aggressiveness, chop blocks, etc. Um, if the league in the NFL catch that, you're looking at big fines and you're looking at suspension and as, as well as getting kicked out. So, and he likes to go head on and grab you down and throw you down to the ground too. So, yes, he is a very aggressive tackler as well. He likes to hit low and he likes to grab you and sling you to the ground. Those are automatically flags all the time in the NFL. But with the correction of that, he will be a dominant force at corner in the NFL for the Miami Dolphins. And he should be able to make the Pro Bowl maybe his rookie year or his second year. Now, the Dolphins also selected running back Devon O'Kane, third round, 84th overall pick from Texas A&M. One thing that I love about this running back here, Mr. O'Kane, is that he is a speedy running back. Great for kick returns, screen pass plays, not your power running back. With this speed, he can make great plays in the running game to keep the chains moving. And if the Dolphins have any injuries in our backfield, Mr. McCain will fit in just fine. So with yes, so with this running back here, Devin McCain, because we needed a running back due to the injuries from um, um, Armstead, um, Wilson Jr., hamstring issues, ankle injuries, and Armstead has a um, broken finger, which sidelined our backfield pretty much. So with him coming in, he'll be a great fit for the Dolphins. A great fit if he can't hit. Um, if Tua have a hard time hitting his targets down the field, such as uh, Waddle Hill, he could always swing it out, do a screen pass and pick up five to six shots, maybe 10 with this speedy running back here. Who knows? Another threat on the offense, kick returns, and as well as screen pass. Now, at the, at the 197th overall pick in the sixth round, Elijah Higgins for Sanford, big wide receiver. And you know, McDaniels love big wide outs. Yes. Look at that arsenal he put together in San Francisco 49ers when he was coaching the 49ers. Yes, as an offensive coach. Yes. Higgins is a big wide receiver coming in at 6'3", 235 pounds. Higgins asking the big McDonald's asking the big wide out to convert to tight end position, which Mr. Higgins has to put on more pounds. But he said that is not a problem. He is aggressive in the pass attack, will be a big impact with Hill and the Waddle in the passing game. So yes, with that that he be mostly more of a of a of a flank wide out. So you can go ahead and line him up with Waddle Hill. You can sing him out. In the coverage, all oh, hell. The Miami Dolphins might go to a six wide out, leaving two and shotgun alone in the backfield. So if you go ahead on there and you got six guys in the passing um, passing um, play, it's gonna be hard for defensive coverages as well as linebackers to cover all that arsenal and speed that we coming at you. Um, I can see him more in the um, flank tight end position in the passing attack, which will be 
a strong impact for Tua to find him in the end zone. Yes, yeah, so when we get into that red zone area and Tua is, is, is seeing his man, he got him locked and that ball is coming out accurate, fast, touchdown, Higgins. Yes, it will be a big plus for the end zone for Tua. Take some of the pressure off Waddle and here. Of course, some boys will be getting 1,000 yards this season. But if Elijah Higgins stays healthy, he might be into the 800 to 1,000 yard receiving bracket as well, too. Now, our last and overall pick in the seventh round at 238, we pick offensive tackle Ryan Hayes from Michigan. One thing about this offensive tackle that I saw in his game tapes at Michigan, this offensive tackle is very great in space, athletic, and he did not give up a sack. But his weakness is he has the ability to be overpowered by defensive linemen and has been known to allow speedy rushes to get by the edge and attack the quarterback. But with off-field um, practice, and you know, practice on his footing techniques and etc. He'll be the world best dominant offensive tackle for the Dolphins as well as in the NFL. Yes, those are my draft picks highlights. I'm going over the NFL draft 2023 for the Miami Dolphins. We only have four picks. I think that we did pretty decent. You know, B minus C plus in the areas, but. It ain't about the ranking, it's all about the performance. When you step on and practice and on that gridiron, it's time to put up and shut up. If you can't put up, you'll be a laughing stock in the NFL and you'll be out immediately. We should know the running back from Alabama, Trent Richardson. Hard running back. And where he at now? Probably working somewhere. But he didn't make it in the NFL. Because he was a laughing joke. And to the drafting class of 2023 of the NFL, it's time for y'all boys to show up, put up, and always remember, fellas, it's not about the damn money. It's about where you want to be at. And I hope that all y'all wonderful, great athletes that made it to the NFL, that y'all go ahead and get to the Hall of Fame. Um... Put them pro, put them Super Bowl rings on, be Pro Bowl draft on um, draft selections, etc. Congratulations to each and every last one of you. Congratulations to Smith, Akane, Higgins, as well as Hayes. Congratulations on being the Miami Dolphin. I'm looking forward to you guys to suit up and put on. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this uh, video here, hit the like button. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.